Hey there! Today's workout is going to consist of 10 fundamental reformer exercises. This is a great workout if you're new to the reformer, and also it's a great workout if you usually do more of a reformer workout, but today maybe you're short on time. We should be able to finish this even at a deliberate pace in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to talk you through the changes. Uh, your reformer might be a little bit different than mine. Um, mine is made by, made by Grotz. And the springs are going to be pretty similar no matter what kind of reformer you have. So I'll try to give you some suggestions for that. And I'm going to keep um, all the exercises in a pretty fundamental state. Some of them you may do in a more intermediate or advanced state. And you're certainly welcome to do that in the midst of this workout. But I'm going to keep it rather fundamental. Let's get started. We're going to start with footwork. You can do it on three springs or four springs. And I'm going to choose three for today. So I'm going to have a seat and lie back. The first exercise is footwork. We're going to do it in this heels together, toes apart position. We're going to do it 10 times. So you're going to go out and in and really work on controlling the carriage and kind of pushing that bar away. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 change to the arches. You're going to be on the part of the arch that's kind of right underneath the ball of the foot and continue. Push the bar away and really feel like you're connected in with your feet to the bar so that you put the same amount of pressure on it on the out and on the in. You don't want to let the springs just pull you in. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to call that 10. I hope you're counting at home. Move to the heels right on the point of the heel, just not so high that you feel like you're going to kind of fly off. And you're going to do 10. Really push that bar away. This is number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now come to the first position you were in with the heels together and the balls of the feet apart and on the bar. And you're going to stay out there this time. Keep control. You're going to slowly lower your heels. And then you're going to scoop your stomach in toward the mat and lift back up to your toes. Push slowly down and lift up. Keep this one in control. Try not to drop yourself down there. This is number four. Five. Scoop up. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more time. And then return the carriage with control. Slide a little bit away from your shoulder rest. The next exercise is the hundred. I'm going to take my foot bar down with my feet so I don't have to get up. If you have a foot bar that doesn't do that, you have to sit up and change it. Just be efficient. Take your handles. Start with your knees into your chest. You're going to bring everything up to the hundred and begin. Breathe in for five and exhale for five. Two and exhale. Three and exhale. Four. Five. Six. Seven, keep nice steady pumping. Just two more sets. And last one. Return your legs in, return your arms up to the ceiling and rest your head. Take both handles into one hand. You're gonna step off and sit up for a moment and we're gonna change to two springs. Let's put two springs on in the middle, take the outside ones off. And then I'm gonna take my handles and come back to the back of the reformer and set up the straps for the frog and the circles. On my reformer, I'm setting up a longer strap. I'm taking the leather strap and the handle and putting them together and the black strap goes through both. And then I'm just going to set them here for myself for the next exercise. When you get your straps, Bring your feet up to the strap so you don't have to pull on the carriage and pull on the straps. And then we're going to do five frogs. Scoop your stomach in toward the mat 
and pull it in deeper as you return. We're going to do five. I think I already said that. <laughs> this is number four. And five. So now we're going to do some leg circles. Again, scoop your stomach far away from your feet. And then we're going to do eight circles in each direction. Keep pulling your stomach far away from your feet. This is five, six, seven, eight. Let's reverse. Scoop the stomach in. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Return to the frog. Take the whole set of straps, one set in each hand, take them off your feet, drop them into the well behind you. And then we're gonna set up for the long box. I'm gonna undo the straps in just a moment. I'm gonna take these black straps off again and set my handles up. We're gonna do the pulling straps which is two exercises, pull straps and T. We're gonna go down to just one spring, and then you're gonna lie onto the box. Reach up as far on the strap as you can, and then you're gonna hold your stomach in and push down and lift your chest, and then return. Push down, pull the waistline up, lift the chest up, one more time. So now slide out, and you're going to need to hold the rivet, or you can also hold at the end of your strap. I'm going to hold on the rivet on my apparatus. Pull your stomach in, open and pull back, and return. One more time. And then place your straps right in the well. You're going to step off to the side. And then let's take the long box away. Now I'll set up for the stomach massage series. The foot bar is going to be up. I'm going to put all the springs on. So I have four. And I'm going to place a pad on the carriage for me to sit on. The Stomach Massage Series has three exercises. The first one we'll do on all these springs. You're going to do it ten times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take one spring off in the middle, put your hands on the shoulder rest. You now have three springs, ten times. This time your back is nice and tall. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take one more spring off in the middle. You have two springs now. Reach up. This time you're going to go out. And then lift your back and come all the way in. Go out. Lift your waistline. Almost imagine that when you lift your back, that's what's going to bend your knees and drag the carriage home. Two more. And if this seems manageable, go ahead and add a twist. The legs are doing the same thing, and you're just challenging that stability and consistency by changing what you're doing on the top. And then you're going to step off. So now we're going to go to the short box. And on my way back, I'm going to change up the apparatus so that when I come back with the short box, everything's ready to go. I'm going to put the foot bar down. The springs are good. This pad I'm going to use again, and the headpiece is going to go down. 
I'm going to get the box. Oh, and I don't want to forget the pole. I'm going to sit on this pad again, and I'm going to grab the two foot straps and climb aboard. The first position is a round position, and I'm just going to go back a little bit and return. I'm going to do five. And one more. If your strap has gone slack, you can sit back a little bit. You want to make sure that that's really tight. And then we're going to do the reach. So reach from your waistline all the way up to where your fingertips are, and you're going to take it back a little and come up. Again, we're going to do five. One more. Rest the pole for a moment. Lift your back, lift the pole up again. Side to side, we're going to do three sets. Stretch over to the side and come back to the center. Keep both sides long, keep both legs reaching under the strap and come back to the center. One more each way. Rest the pole again. Now we'll do a twist. Lift it up, take a big breath in, take a big breath out as you twist. Inhale, exhale. Let's do two more, one more set like that. Take a big breath in, take a big breath out. And rest. We're gonna add one more part. If that all felt fine, you can do one more set of twist and reach. So you're gonna twist first. You're gonna stay super tall and reach. Come back up and come center. Lift, twist, reach, come back up and center, and rest. Stow the bar under your legs. Take one foot out of the strap and keep your spot on the box. Your strap is going to be slack for just a moment, perhaps, but you're gonna fix that in a minute. So you're gonna sit up really tall and stretch your leg. Walk out toward your ankle. Lift your back and bring yourself toward your leg. And then with control, this position is gonna tip backward until the strap on your foot is tight and this foot might be toward the ceiling. Pull your stomach in and climb down your leg, and then pull your stomach in and climb back up. Pull your stomach, let it lead the way. Let it make you have to walk down your leg. One more time. When you come all the way up, if you'd like to take an extra stretch, you can hold onto your toes. Your heel reaches to the ceiling and you're gonna pull your belly button in like crazy away from your leg. And then take that leg across. You can hold onto the little handles, lift your back, and then stretch over a little bit. And then we'll switch legs. Left leg up, stomach in, extend your leg. Walk out toward the ankle. Lift yourself toward your leg. Tip back and tighten your strap. You can see from your vantage point that the strap is tight. That's very important. Safety first. Climb down your leg. And then pull the stomach in and climb back up. Pull in and climb down. Pull in and climb up. One more time. Stomach first. Stomach, stomach, stomach forever. Hashtag stomach forever. Pull in, climb back up. Go up and get your toes. Reach your heel to the ceiling. Pull your stomach in. Mm. Oh. Grab the handles, lift your back, and stretch forward. So now we're going to take everything away, and we're going to come back for the elephant. So I'm going to move the pad to where it lives. I'm going to take the box and the pole back. And then on my way back, I'm going to put the headpiece up and I'm going to bring the foot bar up 
and then I'm going to get on for elephant. When you're getting on the carriage for elephant, you have two springs, so use your stomach so when you get on, that carriage doesn't move around. You want to be in total control. Scoop in, plant your feet, and feel like you're kind of pushing your heels into the mat as you push out, and push your heel into the mat as you come in. Push, push more. Push, push more. We're going to do eight. This is three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then carefully come down to your knees. Put your feet against the shoulder rests. You want to feel, if possible, that you could get all of your toes to be forward on the mat so that the bottom of your foot can be against the shoulder rest. Some of your toes may not want to do it. Like my little ones, I kind of have to put them there sometimes myself, but eventually they may go there. So round your back like you just did for the elephant. This is the knee stretches. We're going to do 10 of each position. So this is position one, round, 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your hips where they are. Hold your stomach tight so your low back is very supported and straight and your chest is up. So now you have a straight position here and an arch in your upper back. And then you're going to do the same thing. Out in ten times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round your back again, like the first position. Lift your knees off the mat and go ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just make sure you come down and close the carriage. I mean, you close the carriage and then you come down for safety. And then you'll step off to the side. So now we've got two exercises left. We're going to add one more spring. So you're back to three springs for running and for pelvic lift. Lie down. We'll do 10 sets of running. Pull your stomach in and go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And with two heels up, loop your legs together and you're gonna come all the way in. Place your feet in that heels together, toes apart position, but now you're gonna place them apart as wide as you can on the foot bar for right now. On the arch, your feet wide, and just a little bit of heel, the suggestion of heels together, toes apart. Reach your tailbone forward and almost feel like you're gonna get a little longer as you push into the bar and lift your hips up. Try not to lift them up so high that you leave the mat with your ribs and your stomach. You want to keep that down so that that's going to help you push the carriage out. Otherwise, you're going to get kind of smashed against the shoulder rests. So use your stomach, use your butt, push out, and then push into your feet and come all the way in. Push out and pull in. So again, the same amount of pressure that you used on the foot bar when you did the footwork at the top of the routine, you're gonna to try to do the same thing here. Let's call this one seven. <laughs> Eight, nine, one more. And then this is a very delicious part. Keep your hips, your tailbone reaching up. Start to roll your back down from the top. It kind of feels nice in your back. And it's a really nice finish. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Fundamental Reformer Exercises, and I hope you'll join me for my next video where we're going to take this deliberate pace and do the same exercises at a more brisk pace. Thank you so much. Bye.